Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. Well, I've had this Gen 4 G17 for over a year and I finally got around to changing out the sights. I went with the Mariglow Pro iDot sights and so far I really love them. But when I decided to put them in, I thought I'd follow the manufacturer's recommendations and not using the punch and hammer method because there is a tritium vial in there and it could break during installation if you, if you hit it hard enough. Now, I know there are plenty of people that'll say, well, I've been using the punch and hammer method on night sights for decades and I haven't had a problem, but plenty of people have, and I'm conservative when it comes to putting in my equipment, so I decided to use a sight tool. Well, I went to my range and used their universal rear sight tool, and the only thing universal about it was that it was a universal piece of garbage. And so I stopped installation before damaging my slide and did some research and found this. The Maryland Gunworks or MGW rear sight tool for blocks. What separates this from the universal sight tool is obviously this is made specifically for Glocks. You put a Glock in there, it's locked in there, and it interfaces perfectly with factory sights or factory style sights. There are some pretty cool things about how it's manufactured as well that I want to show you as well as demonstrate how it's used coming up next on Twang and Bang. Maryland Gunworks obviously put a lot of thought into making this tool simple and reliable. It consists of a frame clamp and a T-handle with a rear sight jig that's on bearings. The frame itself is made out of machine billet aluminum and the rest of the tool is made out of tool steel. This thing is designed to last. MGW also makes similar sight tools for different firearms, but this is a review of the Glock tool and I can't attest for the others. The clamp is shaped like frame rails, and so that allows your slide to be held into place without any risk of damage of the exterior finish. The sight pusher jig is modeled after the Glock factory rear sight, so you need to make sure that any sights you plan to use with this tool have that shape or are smaller. Otherwise, this sight tool might not work with your rear sight. Though the sight tool is much more gentle to your sights than using a punch and hammer, you might want to put a piece of tape on the side of any sites that have white lettering that you want to protect. The only maintenance this tool requires is that you ensure you lightly oil the shaft, especially the threads, before you use it. This not only protects the tool, but it also protects your sight and slide because a well-oiled T-handle will not bind. So if you have any trouble putting on a sight, you know you need to stop cranking and fit the sight to the slide. The MGW rear sight tool is super easy to use. All you have to do is place the rear slide on the slide clamp and lock it down. This perfectly aligns the slide so that the sight pusher jig can do its job. Once the slide is locked down, all you do is turn the T-handle to push the rear sight off the slide from left to right. The polymer factory sights are super easy to push back and forth. Steel replacement sights take a little bit more effort. Installing your new rear sight is simply a matter of reversing the process, turning the T-handle to pull the sight onto the slide from right to left. It's easy to see that this method of installing a sight allows you to make very fine adjustments, though you should never use a sight tool to make up for form errors. And that's all there is to it. The MGW rear sight tool allows you to very quickly and safely change out your rear sight. This sight tool also accommodates large frame glocks like this G20. All you have to do is remove the shim from under the frame clamp. As good as the MGW rear sight tool is, it doesn't get you out of knowing how to fit a sight to a slide. There are sights that are still going to be too big to go into the dovetail of a slide and you need to make sure you're not forcing it in there. If you have to use more pressure than you can put on with just your bare hand, you don't get a cheater bar. You back the side out, you file down the high spots, and then you try reinstalling. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube that show you how to fit a sight onto a slide, and I'll link to one of them in the video description below just so you get an idea. It's something really easy, but it's something that you shouldn't ignore. If you want to learn more about the Maryland Gunworks Rear Sight Tool, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. Now more than ever, YouTube needs to know that you like firearms-oriented programming. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows,
guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.